So yo, what is going on guys, welcome back to another tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to do this cool rotating video effect that you can add to pretty much any video. So let's get right into it. So first thing, you want to come into Premiere Pro, we want to grab our clip right here and we're going to drag it into the sequence. So now we've got our clip in the sequence, I'm going to be using my hyperlapse that I filmed in London the other day. So here it is, as you can see it's right here, pretty smooth, it looks pretty good. So the first thing I'm going to say is this video is going to look way better with cinematic bars, so if you want to add cinematic bars and you can do that. The way I add cinematic bars is I basically come over to this box right here, right click, click on new item and go to adjustment layer, hit OK. And uh, you can just drag the adjustment layer over the top of this clip right here. So if we just do that, um, then what we want to do is you guys want to come over to effects, search for the crop effect or the crop tool, um, drag it onto the adjustment layer, come up here to effects control and let's just come down here we want to go to the top i i normally add about 14 percent i think that's a good percentage to add but now that we've done that i'm going to be teaching you guys how to add the rotating video effect to this clip so the one thing you guys are going to need for this video is after effects so after effects is pretty simple to use it's nothing crazy just follow me and i'll teach you how to do it but i'd imagine if you have premiere pro you probably get after effects and all the adobe programs so so the first thing you want to do is click alt click on this clip and drag it up and we've copied the clip right there. So the reason I copied the clip is because we're gonna click on this top clip, we're gonna right click, and we're gonna come up here to replace with After Effects Composition. And basically, if, if you do the whole thing, and you're like, ah, I don't really like that, you can basically just click on this clip and delete it, and it will get rid of the, the composition. So let's right click on this, replace it with After Effects Composition. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna open up After Effects. So now that you've opened up After Effects, just rename this project, whatever you wanna name it, I'm just gonna name it Spinning Video. Just like that, we're gonna click save. So now you should have your hyperlapse here in After Effects. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, right click, click new, and go to adjustment layer. That's gonna come up here on top, just click down here. Forget about this transform over here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come over to the effects and presets panel, search for transform. It's right here, click that and drag it onto the adjustment layer. And you're also gonna to wanna to add motion tile. So search for motion tile, right there, drag a motion tile onto the adjustment layer. So now that you've added motion tile, click on effects. The one thing you want to make sure here is that motion tile is above transform, otherwise the effect will not work properly. As we come down on transform quickly, just so we can see the whole clip, we're going to scale out. So come to the scale, I can't find it, there it is, come to the scale. Just crop out a little bit, we'll put that back to normal soon. Now come to motion tile, go down, and you want to go on the output height and the output width. Just extend it a little bit, click on the output height, extend that a little bit too, so it kind of covers up the whole screen right here. Um, as you can see, we've got these really hard lines right here. So to, so to get rid of these big hard lines, we're going to come up here to the effects control, click mirror edges, and there we go, basically get rid of all them. We can now go back to the transform tool and scale it back down to 100. So as you can see, it's proper normal now. Um, if I were you guys, I'm just going to crop in a little bit more. Just It will work a little bit better if we crop in a little bit more. So I'm going to crop into 120. I did shoot this hyperlapse in 4K, so it's going to look a bit nicer. So to do this rotating video effect, you want to come down here to rotation, hit the keyframe button. And if you want to just place it, say if we would just place it here, come all the way to the end of the clip, which is right, right here. So we're at the end of the clip and just rotate it to about there. So now you should have a fairly cool looking rotation. So right now it should look something a little bit like this. So now that you've got this rotation on your video, we're going to add a little bit of motion blur. So come over to this panel right here, right click, click on new and then add another adjustment layer. This is going to be the top adjustment layer. We come down a little bit. So once you've added this adjustment layer, come over to the effects and presets tab, search for blur. And if we come down, you've got all these different blurs. So once you search for blur, come down, it's just right near the bottom, second from the bottom. Drag that onto your adjustment layer. And it's going to look pretty crazy right now. We're going to dim that down a little bit. I'd, I normally have it on two or three. 
So I'm gonna add this blur to about four because I think that looks good. But if you go any more, it just starts looking pretty crazy. So I'd say keep it to no more than ten, but like four, five, or six is pretty good. So for this video, I'm just gonna put it on about five because I feel like that's quite good. And so now that you've done that, because my time lapse is going forward, I'm gonna add a, another blur. So we're gonna click on the same blur. We're gonna drag that onto the adjustment layer. Click on this little arrow here. We'll bring this down where it says type. Click on spin and put it to zoom. And then I would say have this amount to maybe just two or three. So it just kind of gives us a little bit more effect. I think that looks pretty good. So yeah, guys, it is as simple as that. You've now made your own rotating video effect. Really cool. Add a little bit of blur to it. It looks good. So the faster your video is, the more blur you want to add around. So if it's slow, maybe add like one or two amount of blur. If it's fast, maybe like six to ten. Also, in the edit that you guys watched at the start of the video, I did add a few other effects. If you guys want to get them effects, I'll leave a link in the description. It's a transition pack called Handy Seamless. It's really good right here. And you just get all these really cool transitions. So if you guys do want to download that and check it out, I'll leave a link in the description. So yeah, guys, once you've added everything onto this that you want to add, we can hop back into Premiere Pro. And it's going to be here on this After Effects Composition tab right here. So you can now click play and you've got your own rotating video effect. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new. And if you want to see more tutorials, comment down below of what I should do next. Peace out.